I am Dr. Shanti, Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Rohini College of Tech, Engineering and Technology. In this video, I am going to present the different types of method that can be applied in Java. First, let us see about the objective. So, after learning the concept methods in Java, Students will be able to apply the different types of method in Java program. Now, methods in Java. What do you mean by a method? Okay. So, a method is a collection of statements that perform specific task. So, each method is part of a class and they define the behavior of that class. So, advantage of using this method that is program development and debugging are very easy increase code sharing and code reusability increase program readability it takes program modular and easy to understand and it shorten the program length by reducing the code redundancy the next is the types of method so there are two types of method that is standard library method the method already available in the library then user defined method so these methods are defined by the user first is the standard library method so the method built in method in java programming to handle sub, handle specific task okay so the standard library are having built in method that are used to handle the tasks such as mathematical computations io processing graphics string handling etc and these methods are already defined and it come along with the java class library organized in packages So some of the library packages that are given here, see the package java.lang.math. So it can use the method cosine of, exponent of, absolute of, log of, square root of, power of. So these are the methods that can be applied using the package java.lang.math. Then java.lang.string. So the method that is character at concatenate compare to index of to uppercase like that we are having several method under the java lang dot string to handle the string we can use these types of method then java dot awt add of size of set layout of set visible of like that we are having many methods under the java awt packages these are the example given for the built-in methods okay next let us see a simple program using a built-in method so this program is used to find the square root of a value see that is class math dot x and the find to find the square root of 14 we are using math dot sqrt of 14 and the output will be 3.741 okay so the same program that is executed and you will be getting the output then the next is the method that are created by user that is what called the user defined method in which we are having method declaration then method definition and method call method declaration means just it is a method prototype okay so the method declaration the syntax is return type method name parameter list here the return type specifies the data type of the value returned by method it will be void if the method does not return any value parameter list specify the list of the value accepted by the method and the method name indicates the unique name assigned to the method 
okay next is the method definition so it provides the actual body of the program so the instruction that are used to do the specific task is written inside this method definition and that is syntax is given here modifier that is as a specifier return type method name parameter list and inside will be having the body of the method the next is the method call so the method gets executed only when it is called the syntax is method name of parameter list so when the method is called the program control transfer to the control to the method definition where the actual code gets executed and returned back to the calling point and one thing we have to know that the type as well as number of parameter passed in the method call should match the parameter list mentioned in the method prototype so there are different types of user defined method first one that is method with no argument no return type no argument and return type method with argument and no return type method with argument and with return type okay so first let us see the example for method with no argument and no return type so in this type of method no value is passed in between the calling method and called method hence when the method is called program control transfer to the called method and execute the method and return back to the calling method okay so this is the program example program let us see so class main and we are having the method add of and the values are a equal to 10 b equal to 20 and sum is a plus b so under the void add we are we are having the value a a value and b value and the sum is also printed and in the main program we have created the object for the class and object dot add of it calls the method add of okay so no values are transferred from the main program to the method as well as from the method no values are returned okay so this is the method with no argument and no return type so we will get we will be getting the answer as 30 okay so the same program that is compiled executed and we have got the output here that is 30 okay the same program is executed here next method with no argument and no return type method with no argument and with return type so in this type of argument no value is passed from the calling method to the called method but a value is returned from the called method to the calling method okay so the same program slight changes will be there see to it end add of we are here a plus b here we are having a return value that is return a plus b so sum equal to object dot add of the function this fun add of is called and the a plus b value is written that is 30 is returned to sum and again sum is printed so no argument but it is returning a value so it is a method with no argument and with return value okay so the same program is executed and we have got the output here next is the method with argument and no return value okay so here in this type of method parameter are passed from calling method to the called method but no return value from the called method to calling method okay so you see here that is the class main we are having two parameter add of in the x comma in the y so the values are given while calling the method obj dot add of so the value 10 and 20 is passed to x and y 
and the value is printed here. Okay, so it is a method with argument but no return type. Any value is not returned here. Okay, we are not returning any value here. So this is the example for method with argument and no return type. The same program is executed and we have got the output here. Okay, the next one is the method with argument and with return type. So in this type of method there is a data transfer in between the calling method and called method here when a method is called program control transfer to the called method with argument execute the method and return value back to the calling method okay so let us see the example see here in the a comma b and it is returning the value here we are calling the method with the value a equal to 1 and b equal to 12 so now a equal to 1 and b equal to 12 it is added the value is 13 and it is returned to sum and that sum is printed so the output will be 13 see the same program is executed and we have got the output as 13 okay so this this uh, this much are the these are the methods and different types of methods in java okay thank you